my mind, in terms of economic potential, the most important thing is that we've seen that we've got a big hydrothermal system. We're not looking at some dinky little thing. Um, wherever we've gone, we've been, we've been seeing all of these features and we're seeing a zoned large-scale hydrothermal system. Now that doesn't prove there's an ore body here, but it's one of the essential requirements. The scenario requires uh, a rapid pressure release, and that automatically means a rapid temperature drop and an escape of gases, uh, disproportionation of SO2, mm. so you, you're generating a, a whole lot of reduced sulphur. And it seems to me plausible that in this situation, you could actually have restricted that to, you know, what is under us at the moment. Mm. Um, I came having no idea what we were going to see and having no feeling for it. I, I'm, I'm leaving feeling as a long-time explorer, feeling a, a sense of excitement about it. But this is this is a really interesting project and it has real potential. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're in a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a tricky situation. We three. Mm -hmm. Because we're involved in research work that is not published, therefore it's sort of like shh, 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 you can't talk very much about it. But mm -hmm. what I touched on a moment ago is that we do have some tools mm -hmm. that are not widely known, that are not known. <laughs> because you know, you only That's know great. about the things because you've you've worked on them. But we do have some tools that could really I think add some extra Money. extra layers Money. of, of yeah. insight into what's mm. going and on and also here. confidence if uh, that's yes positive. yes that's yeah. right you know um, mm. they won't prove that you've got something but they can add extra weight to mm. the to the story that's right yeah so even though we've got to see be a bit careful about stuff mm -hmm. um i'd love to see those tools applied here mm. yeah I mean, because i think they could really shed some light and it feeds back, shedding, shedding awareness mm -hmm. to us yeah, yeah, exactly. yes. about how these tools can be used mm -hmm. and what they can tell. My response is, nothing is conclusive. But if you interpret everything in a negative way, why the fuck would you ever do exploration? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The ultimate outcome is you say, fuck all this, let's just drill it, because that's the acid test. That's yeah. what's gonna determine whether you've got a whether you've got something significant wow. or you haven't. And you know that there's a geophysical anomaly sitting underneath. Yes, and geochemistry anomaly as well. Uh, so so you know, yes we can we can be researchers and say we've got this great idea and we'll do more research to confirm it and increase our confidence in it. But at the end of the day, you've still got you to test, test it. You've exactly. still got to test it. That's what I, or what you can I turn say. around and say, well, it would be lovely to do all this research, but why bother? We'll just go straight ahead and test it, yeah. the implications of it. Well, and that's the it. normal exactly. exploration approach. Exactly. Well, I have a certain level of confidence, then we go just for it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah.